Hi guys, it's Marissa and today I wanted to make a date night makeup and hair and outfit tutorial for you guys. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I apologize for the quality of this video if it's bad right now. Um, my camera is not working at the moment so I am just doing this with my webcam. So I hope you guys don't mind but I wanted to still put out a video for you guys today. So um, let's get started then. This first product that I'm going to be using is my e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter and I'm just going to use my concealer and just go in under my eyes and get those dark problem spots that I have because I can't be looking like a zombie. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just mix my concealer in and under my eyes. My next product is my CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin in the shade Ivory. It is number 205. And I just mix that in with my skin. I'm a cool tone and this really works for my skin. I haven't had any breakouts because of it and it's worked very well for me. And I always get it under my neck just to be sure that everything looks clean and smooth on my face. And then I use a sponge applicator to set it all. This next product is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I use this dark gel part on it to set my eyebrows and fill them in really good because I have thin eyebrows on the outer parts of my eyebrows on the sides and then I use this light powder just to um, set them so they don't run or mess up This next product is my CoverGirl palette and I use this like dusty gold in it. I cannot remember the name of this palette for the life of me, but I just use the very light dusty gold on the very tops of my eyelids just without going outside of that area, just the very top. And then I use my Wet n Wild Cool as a Cucumber palette. And the first color I use is this dark woodsy green color. And I just go over the outer side of my eyelids. And then I'm going to use this plum purple just in a V shape on my crease and on the outer parts of my eyelid just in a V shape and then I use the very top like cucumbery color just to go over my brow bone without touching my eyebrow and then next I am pretty much gonna just blend all of that together and blending takes me forever and a day so I'm just gonna fast forward through this really quickly and then I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeliner pencil with a shadow on it. I'm just going to use my eyeliner part and barely go over the top part of my um, eyelash line very softly, not too heavy. And then I'm going to just go back over it and just add a little flare out just to create a very simple cat eye just to add some drama and some spice to my eyes. Ooh, pretty. So pretty. And then I'm gonna use my angled eye brush and go back to my Cool as a Cucumber palette and use the dark plum purple and just line the bottom part of my eyes. Next, I'm going to use my Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express um, Mascara. And I'm going to use that on the tops of my lashes and as well as the bottom parts of my lashes just to make my eyes pop some. So I have baby doe eyes. Ooh, nice. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush palette and it is in the shade Tickled Pink. And say cheese. Cheese. And I'm just going to very lightly get the apples of my cheeks with that. Next, I'm going to use my Rimmel um, Lip Liner in the shade Natural. It is number 49. And I'm just going to barely line my lips with that. Next. 
Next, I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Lips in the shade Peach Kiss. And this is one of my favorites that I actually carry with me daily, and it moisturizes my lips as well as looking pretty and shiny. And now that we're done with that, I'm going to just rip out this hairband and just do my hair. Um, I usually wear my hair wavy like this daily to school, so I just transition from day to night. And I just want to make like a very deep side part um, with my fingers, kind of messy, and I'm just going to take my hair like right behind my ear and I'm going to start twisting it. And it doesn't really matter which way you twist it. I twist it up though. And then I just take a bobby pin and I just secure it into place. And then I, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not completed yet. It looks nice, but I'm not, I'm not done yet. Oh, yep, I'm going to add a flower to it. There we go. So I have this nice little black flower just to add some sass to it. And I don't know what I'm going to wear, so let's pick. Flower de dress, maybe. Red sexy dress, maybe. Red sexy dress, red sexy dress. Do it, do it, do it. Yay! That's my choice. All right. So let's get dressed. Oh, wow. That was quick. That was really quick. I do some magic. That looks great. And then I add some sparkly earrings that I've had for a really long time and I don't know where I got them. And I actually got that dress thrifting, believe it or not, for $3. Pretty awesome, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will link all of my makeup and everything I use down in the description box below and what I'm wearing down there as well. And if you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, leave it down in the comments. If you would like to see more of me and become a chic to the geek or geek to the chic, you can go and subscribe and I will be here daily mostly and you guys can watch me if you would like to. And um, I hope that you guys had a great day today. If not, I hope things get better for you. So just remember, it's not the end of the world. Zombies haven't happened yet, unfortunately. That might be cool. Then all of us can be like Michonne on The Walking Dead. But anyways, yeah, so um, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and I will link those down below as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a good night evening, day, afternoon, whatever it is, where you live, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!